importance of reading Bible. Psalms 33, 6 reads like this. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Their starry host by the breath of his mouth. By the word of the Lord. If you do not know the word, you wouldn't know who the God is, who the Lord is. There are many gods. We create our own good. We can make millions of God in our heart on a daily basis. But Bible says in 33 Psalms verse 6, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, their starry host by the breath of his nostrils. So from the breath came all those what we see. In the heavens, the stars, the sky, on the earth, the trees, the things, all these are created. But unless you read the Bible, you wouldn't know. You will have theories after theories. But Bible clearly says the origin, how God created man, how God has planned. There may be other stories, but you need to start believing the truth. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. How do you know the truth? The truth comes from the word of God only. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And you have to start believing the truth to, to know who God is. So Bible reading, this time when there is so much of advance, people think they are advanced. They are not advanced actually. A spirit realm is almost dead. People think they are advanced, they are going against God. They are making the Tower of Babel every day and it is destroyed every time. And then still they are struggling, they are still trying to make, instead of going to the origin. See, if a river forgets the source of its origin, it will dry up. If a river forgets the source of its origin, it will dry. We need to know where we started. So the Bible is given to us a manual to know where we came from, where is our address, where we belong to and what is the purpose of our life on this earth. Unless you read the Bible, you would not know what is your purpose on this life. People search, search after going in different places, doing different things. Then ultimately they have become a big vacuum. Many people commit suicide not knowing that there is a true God waiting for them. Somebody has to tell. I am telling it. God is waiting for you to open your heart. Psalms 33, 9. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. When he speaks, things happen. And we have the same authority. We are the image of God now. Because we are believers now. So when he spoke, things happen. When we speak, the speak, the, I told you, the, this planet is voice activated. And we don't do, learn to speak from the word as the word says, confessing the word as God himself said. We say it repeatedly that things has to happen because we are actually taking God with us. We are actually the temple of the living God. God can actually write things on the sky every day. But he doesn't do that. He wants us to do that. It's a privilege that we can tell the gospel to other people. The light, the light shines. Hosea 4, 6, he says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You don't have knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So unless you read the Bible, you will not know who God is. And you will not know whom to fear. And you will not know whom to approach. You lost your origin. You, so you are really wandering or groping in the darkness. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, the 3.16 says, All scripture is God breathed, useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so that man of God may be thoroughly equipped, equipped for every good work. All scripture is God breathed, it's from the breath. If we can't take the breath in, we cannot speak. Three minutes, you will die if you, are, if, if you are under the water and you don't know how to breathe. You cannot breathe. You need to come in between up to take breath. And somebody closes your mouth for a few minutes, you will die. So, all scripture is from the breath of God. And they are useful for our teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. So that man of God may be thoroughly equipped. For every good work. We are supposed to do the good works which God has ordained before we sent, before we were created. Do we know it? We are to bring glory to our living God. Otherwise we are just like animals. 
you have to draw the line. I don't belong to the dark. I belong to the light. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. The word of God is to be read every day, at least half an hour, more if you we need to spend time with the Lord and meditate the word. Then only Psalms 1, chapter 1 of the Psalms will come to life. That you are like a tree planted by the riverside. If you don't read it, you will not get food for the spirit. Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, I tell you this manual, the book of Bible is given to us by the Holy Spirit so that we will know how to live on this earth having our connection with God and doing what all things which we are supposed to do which God ordained for us to bring glory to God. We are workmen for God. We are, we, God is the owner of everything. We are the stewards. God will ask us, what did you do with your time? What did you do with your talent? And somebody has to, I have seen that these days people don't take Bible with them. Some of the Pentecostal people do it. Otherwise, others don't do it. Why is it too heavy for us? God has given us one book. That's the Bible. And we need to read it more often. Psalms 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. For, a, for every step, you need the word of God. And then, if you, have the, if you have the manual, and if you do not open it, how will you know who your father is? You will go after different fathers. They are not even real. Who will abuse you? But God is telling, come unto me, come to me. I have written, I have given clear instruction in the Bible, how to pray, how to come to me, how to call on me. And he says, call unto me, all those who are weary and heavy laden. Well, you have got heavy laden because of the sin character in you. I didn't want you to have this heavy laden life. You chose it. But there is a remedy in Christ Jesus. Come to me, come to me. And in Joshua, we read the same thing. God says to Joshua, never ever depart from the book of law. Meditate it all the time. Then, just like I was with Moses, I will be with you. and Nobody can harm you. In Psalms 1, I need to read that. It's very important. One verse at least. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of the mockers but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditates day and night he is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever he does prosper same thing is written in Jeremiah 17 8 and that's what God wants we become a beautiful fruit bearing tree or a beautiful wine bearing much fruit when you read and meditate the word of God. You need to read the Bible. It's very important, especially at this age. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we know that you have given us this book of Bible for us. Believers need to read it, Lord, for eternity, to get eternal life, to know who we are, where we lost our connection with you, and why, how you redeemed us by sending your son, Jesus Christ, what he did. He gave his life for us in ransom. Every drop of blood is given for our redemption, Lord, and we value it. Every drop, one single drop of blood can do greater miracles than all our work on this earth. So teach us to come closer to you, closer, closer. Wash us, cleanse us, purify us so that we will be shining light. Let thy word be, thy word be the light before us. We need light for our path. Teach us to walk, take one step at a time in the wisdom and the light of yours, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us this Bible, which is yours, your breath alone. It's for our correction and teaching and for doing good things which you have ordained for us to do. Thank you for answering our prayers. We ask all this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.